Hello friends, back again on the Juxi Manga 2 channel. We will continue live together to conquer you chapter 21. Thank you, enjoy watching. What do you want me to do, I can help you. Lu Muqing turned around, facing Yan Jingxi, and asked seriously. Yan Jingxi was shocked. You don't have to think about it. Do you really think I won't fight back when I'm bullied? Yan Jingxi realized that what she was talking about was Lu Yuran beating her, and she smiled faintly, with a cunning flash in her clear eyes. Yan Jingxi has always been a strong man, she did not shed a single tear when she was abandoned by Feng Ruyan when she was about to die, let alone the bullying he suffered on a daily basis. When I went to help you buy clothes, as soon as I left the hospital gate, I saw Mr. Lu's luxury car parked illegally. I just called a towing company to have the car towed. When Yan Jingxi walked out of the hospital door and saw Lu Yuran's expensive car, a sly look appeared in her eyes. Don't blame me for being cruel, blame yourself for parking the car carelessly. Who towed my car? When they Yan Jingxi arrived at the hospital, she saw a tow truck towing Lu Yuran's car. And not long after, Lu Yuran came and saw his car gone with a tense expression on his face, clenched his fists and shouted viciously, as if he had just eat bombs. Very good, you are very smart. Yan Jingxi felt that the description was quite appropriate, so she chuckled. Lu Muqing saw her smile. Lu Muqing felt proud of her, stretched out his hand, gently stroked her hair again. If this kind of playboy is not taught a lesson, he will really think that women are easy to bully. Her eyes locked with the undisguised concern in Lu Muqing's eyes. Miraculously, the place he touched didn't seem to hurt as much. Perhaps it was the sudden throbbing in his heart that made Yan Jingxi surprisingly obedient and let him rub him gently. However, I've never eaten fast food like this, and I'm not used to being treated like that by women. It's better if you just eat, Lu Muqing instructed. I'm not asking you for anything. If you didn't save me, I might be lying in the hospital now. Yan Jingxi lowered her head, hiding her red face, and said lightly. Yan Jingxi said gratefully. Yan Jingxi thought that he saved her, so treating him to a meal at CFC was a favor to her, and besides, she could afford a meal at CFC. So, so you want to or don't want to obey the person who saved you? Lu Muqing smiled sweetly and said in a teasing tone. The sunlight from outside the window shone in and fell on half of his body, covering half a meter of sunlight, giving her a feeling of nobility and elegance. This man really changed his face in seconds. Please, I only have enough money for one meal, usually I use various coupons, but I'm reluctant to eat it myself," Yan Jingxi said softly. Yan Jingxi raised her eyebrows and answered sadly. Yan Jingxi thought that he saved her, so treating him to a meal at CFC was a favor to her, and besides, she could afford a meal at CFC. This is the best I can give you right now. The Yang family isn't poor, right? Lu Muqing asked suspiciously. After all, I was adopted. Yan Jingxi said these words concisely without much change in expression. She smiled lightly and drove seriously. Wait, again? Yan Jingxi chewed these words meaningfully and looked at Lu Muqing. Yan Jingxi was silent for three seconds. Have you ever seen me short of money? Yan Jingxi looked at him seriously, her deep eyes hidden by chaos and displeasure. She was so deep that she didn't know what he was thinking. He remembered that the Yan family was also a wealthy family. But when he recalled the situation when Yan Jingxi had an interview when she was 18 years old, she seemed to be very short of money, and his eyes deepened. Lu Muqing narrowed his eyes, locked his eyes, and frowned. No. By the way, you can cook, right? Lu Muqing glanced at her delicate face. The stronger and calmer she was, the more interested he was in getting to know her. It's possible, but what do you want to do with the food? Yan Jingxi pursed her lips and glanced at him unhappily. He was deliberately teasing her. 
This guy changed the topic again. I'll be living on campus from now on, but I haven't found a suitable housekeeper yet. Can you cook me food every night? I will pay you 2,000 yuan a month. How about it? Lu Muqing raised the corner of his mouth, staring at her with burning eyes. Lu Muqing chuckled, liking her true appearance, facing him. Two thousand yuan? Yan Jingxi smiled lightly, and the smile reached her eyes. Her eyes widened. She answered politely. Her voice was low and soft, like a gentle whisper between lovers. Wait, lots of people can cook. Why are you forcing me to do that? We don't have a special relationship, so we have to keep our distance. Yan Jingxi felt an inexplicable throbbing in his heart and looked at Lu Muqing. No, why should this be my obligation? Hiss, I was injured so badly that it's hard to move my hand. She will have to live under the same roof with him in the future and they will see each other every day. It will not be good for her if they have a falling out. A strange feeling of unease flashed through Yan Jingxi's heart. She just resigned herself to it. This man did it on purpose. Okay, but I'll only do it for a month. Find a suitable caregiver as soon as possible. Yan Jingxi had no other choice. Her face became a little red and she felt itchy in her heart. He didn't want to let himself find out, afraid it would just be a nuisance. Just a month. Just wait. Okay. The fish has been caught. I can't let you go easily. Yan Jingxi didn't reject him. A sly light flashed in his eyes. Lu Muqing looked at him, his eyes sparkling. Yan Jingxi looked at the gleam in his eyes and felt as if she was digging a hole and burying herself. Wang Zhanyu was standing in front of the door, and she heard the two of them chatting. I've never seen my second brother smile like that. Wang Zhanyi glanced at the door of her office. She stared at Yan Jingxi with her sharp eyes, dark as ink. Strange light flowing. Older men are more tolerant of younger girls, probably because of this. Besides, he is her elder, so it should be out of respect for the old, and love for the young. This little girl didn't know that second brother had already been married once. He looks very familiar with that woman, Wang Zhanyi sneered in her heart, unsure whether she was laughing at her charm or her own trance right now. University Library Jingxi, I just saw a poster on the bulletin board. Our school plans to hold a competition for new design talents in school with Lu Group. When Zhou Jiamin returned to the library, Zhou Jiamin saw Yan Jingxi sitting there doing assignments. Yan Jingxi knew that he was not too surprised. Zhou Jiamin sat on the chair and came closer. The top three award-winning students can directly enter Lu Corporation to work. Zhou Jiamin frowned and said with a serious expression, Yan Jingxi's eyes widened in surprise and a glint flashed through her. The Lu Group is China's largest conglomerate. If I was on campus, I could be in the top three, but... Speaking of this, Zhou Jiamin thought of something. I've been involved with the Lu family in my life and studies. Do I still have to be involved with the Lu family in my work? I heard there's a 1 million bonus for the top three. Sign up now. As expected of you, you get excited when you mention money. Stimulate. Lu Muqing stood up casually, suddenly stretched out his hand, hugged Yan Jingxi's waist, and pulled her into his arms. Yan Jingxi leaned against his chest without preparation, 
and her eyes widened in surprise. Before she could react, his handsome face widened before her eyes and his lips were close to hers, one centimeter from her face stopping in front of the distance. 